Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome here or welcome back, whatever the case may be. Yesterday, I was in a horrible, horrible rush. Today, I am going to do somewhat the opposite of that. I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not here to waste a whole lot of time, but I want to try and get done before Denis gets back with the bus pass. So, I guess... We will start. I am freshly bathed, showered, and I am ready to begin. So this is going to be somewhat of a thoughtful process for me today, I believe. A little bit zen. I need some calming energy. I had some frantic energy yesterday, which was great for going out for a show. Now, today, I am going to be backstage at that very same show, and I need to make sure that things are efficient and calm. It is a very controlled chaos when you are backstage. Everybody has a job to do. It is a well-oiled machine. Sometimes things go awry and everybody has to be quick on the fly without getting in anybody else's way at all times. So it's a very, very stressful place to be. And everybody back there is calm on the outside. And in order for me to achieve calm on the outside, being as I I am just whatever whatever I feel just shows. I have to be calm on the inside. So I am going to start by taking a good breath in. Now I will ruin that breath with a cigarette. Which I think only has calming properties because of the breathing. It's a controlled breathing when you're smoking. Um, I don't think that it can be the smoking that causes any kind of relaxation because nicotine is a stimulant, much like caffeine. So that is, that is neither here nor there. What do I care? <laughs> All I know is I don't want to smoke. I want to become a non-smoker again. I liked being able to say I'm a non-smoker. But right now, I am not there yet. That's just the honest truth about it all. So here we are, going to start with my Aven Hydrating Boost, Hydrants Boost. Serum Concentrate. Hydrating? I don't know. One drop. Oh, stubbly eyebrows. Oh, don't enjoy stubbly eyebrows. But after Sunday, I can change my facial hair if I choose to do so. There we go, three drops. I've been thinking about what I'm going to use to prime my eyes, and I think the solution is concealer. I know that people in YouTube videos have done this, so I know that it is not an impossibility. The things I try to avoid 
putting on my skin before makeup is anything with an oil in it because I find the oil breaks down the makeup. I'm sure that is chemically what is exactly supposed to happen. So I find like I try not to mix water-based things with oil-based things and I have failed to know which is which sometimes and that is fine. Don't ask me why I started there because that's not what I was trying to do. But that's okay. That's okay. I accidentally did something that's perfectly fine. Maybe I should just get that on there now. Maybe I should. This is the time if I make a mistake or something I don't like, I can change it now where it's nice and easy. Exclamation mark on my notes. And I'm going to go put this here because I do that anyway. And I do know that because I don't have a good camera set up or anything, it's just my phone, so this, the microphone is what it is. I can't cut out my breathing things. And the worst is every time my mouth is closed and I open it to make a face that I don't even realize I'm making until I'm editing, the vacuum of the mouth goes, oh, I can't even do it on purpose, but it's, Anyway, irritates me when I'm editing. So I apologize for all of those things that I subject people to, but I really don't have an alternative at this time. Okay, maybe I should get that worked in a little bit before I... Okay, because really, I pulled this out <laughs> to use as an eyelid primer. I have no idea how coated this should be. Because this is a new one on me. I just know that in theory, it should work just fine. I try really hard not to really stretch my skin, but I have very rugged skin. It's, you know, saggy and baggy and old and all this stuff, but it's tough skin. <laughs> you know, it, it can take, it can take quite a bit as people may have realized. Like, I've never had problems with my skin. I've been very fortunate. My sister, when she was younger, if she even touched her own face, boom, break out. And I, well, as I've gotten older, I've gotten a few too, and some are ingrown hairs, but I can count between my two hands how many pimples I've had on my face. <laughs> it's been less than 20 in over half a century. I've been very, very fortunate with my skin. Now, I don't really do a lot with my skin as much as it seems like I do based on these videos. And I certainly have done a lot more over the last few years because I figure I'm getting older now. There's only so long I'll be able to do that. Someday I'll probably just decide, yeah, I don't like wearing makeup anymore. The same way I decided that, hey, I like wearing makeup now. <laughs> Right? It's just, you know, as long as I'm enjoying it, I'm going to keep doing it. And so far, my saggy baggy skin has not deterred me from doing what I want to do. Now, do I want to go in with contouring here? I should do my eyebrows first. But for whatever reason, 
this is what I chose to do now. Good, bad, or otherwise. it does tie in with eyebrows I connect them sort of up here which you know changes the overall look of the face a little like everything is just little changes but overall by the time you're done it'd be like who is that in the mirror <laughs> wonder if I should just take that and just kind of create a little shadow under there for the shape don't know if that made any difference I'm not gonna specifically go out of my way to do that so but I do oops I do want to do the bulb as part of my nose such as it is and Eyebrows. I'm going to take the time to find the soft brown, and that's the lasso espresso. Don't put it back in, or you'll just keep finding the same one. It's a lesson I've learned. If you find something you don't want, don't put it back where you got it, because you'll just keep finding that same one. <laughs> soft brown. Here we go with the soft brown. So that was probably a, a heavy breath. When I'm doing these things and I concentrate, I tend to take a breath in and I hold it so that I don't disturb what I'm doing. And then I'm done. If I have extra breath, it's just, right? And that, I'm sure, gets picked up in the microphone. I'm sure it's really bad now that I'm doing it on purpose. So for that, I apologize. I was just, I thought it might be a good thing to explain. I suddenly realized it's like two bird wings. <laughs> if I drew, if I drew the silhouette of a, like a seagull or something right there in the middle of my nose, right? Just, ooh, there's a seagull. It's like, ooh, bird wings. <sighs> yeah. Zen. I actually think I'm going to put a little bit more of the concealer here.
oh, here I go, experimenting when I need to go out again. I was prepared to take a few risks, but what am I doing? playing and I'm having fun. That's what I'm doing. No matter the outcome, this is makeup. It is not life and death. It is not the end of the world. you feel better about yourself? Yes. Can it make you feel worse about yourself? Yes. But if you do sort of calculated risks and you've practiced enough things when it doesn't matter, there's really nothing that you can do that you really can't get out of. Boy, I've made my eyes water. What did I do to make my eyes water? Can't be the concealer. I didn't get anything in my eyes. Hmm. I really don't know what colors I want to put on. Well, start by pulling out some colors. Let's see. I'm going to put that taupey color down first. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll see. what that does for us. Taking the sort of peachyish color out of here. Let's see what that throws in there. Like, does it give me something too soft? I don't know what's bothering my eyes. I really don't. Now my eyes should bother me because I start poking things into them. But there's no reason for before that.
Sun. Picking an orangey color to go with that peachy color. trying to find deeper and deeper versions of colors that will go on this. things blend. I don't know what it's going to be like putting it on afterwards, but we will find out. Hmm. Not bad. It does tone it down some around the edges. Okay. I should put on my blue light under here.
So let's see, I've spent over 31 minutes already. Hopefully I will be able to cut enough of this down. It's just not a long, boring production that people have to sit through. For me, it's very kind of ritualistic when I'm not rushed. And a very fun experience. meant to put on my poor feller today, but I didn't. It's just the way it goes. NYX contouring palette. Every once in a while I can feel myself starting to feel like I want to rush. So my all may smart shade.
and on the inner part of my eye here, I try to keep it on my lash line. And then on the outer part of my eye, I like to go up into my waterline. And it just gives my eye a tiny bit of a slant that way. See, that compared to that. I don't know if that really shows the way I want it to. But that is how I do things for anyone that was wondering. Denise is back. I'll work. I'll work the floor tomorrow. Okay, everybody on the video is going to know that now. Thank you.
of this highlighter here, this e.l.f. this blush. I'm going to try that. Shiny, shiny. Not as blended there as I would like. Fingers are a good tool. Fluffy brush. This is where I will make choices that I will regret. Like in here, do I want? This to be just a little. Just a little bit there. I think so. I'll do this. Setting spray, I think I do. That looks okay. Because it is what it is now, and there's not a lot I can do about it. So, I'll have to go and figure out what the rest of the things I'm going to put on for this evening. I guess there's one more thing I need to do here. And that is my, which I cannot, oh, that's not the one I want. I can tell that from the bottom. I don't think that's going to show. I really don't think that's going to show. Did it show on there? I don't know if it does. Anyway, that is the, the lipstick that I like the most. Just so you know, it is a very, very tiny, right? That's that's out all the way it goes. It's just very, very, very tiny. And this was $45 at the time, several years ago. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. But I like it. It feels creamy on the lips, but it doesn't feel like there's stuff caking on my lips. So all of those things, very, very important to me. So until the next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.